Much of America is on edge these days, and one of the biggest flashpoints is the issue of racism. Many Christian leaders say if we're ever truly going to be one nation under God, the solution starts with God's word and his people. CBN's Tara Mergener reports on a new nationwide movement toward biblical unity. Take one look across the social media landscape and you get the feeling this is the divided states of America rather than the United States. Christian leaders say it is time for a change and what better place to begin than the Bible. Inside the nation's only museum dedicated to the Word of God, the sounds of praise. Prayer and fellowship kick off a timely conversation. Tonight, we are going to uh, step on the third rail. We're going to talk about race and religion. Men and women from churches across the country ready to talk about the sin of racism, even among fellow Christians, and how it contradicts the biblical principle of Imago Dei, that all people are created in God's image. I just want to be able today to share my story. Speakers shared their own stories of pain, trauma, and healing. I am very excited to be here because for the first time I might say some things that I was afraid to say it in the past. No matter what has happened in your life, no matter how much trauma you have experienced, please don't give up. This event marks the beginning of a national campaign called Let's Talk, bringing together Christian leaders and ministries, including CBN. Campaign founder Dr. Derek Greer says scripture shows the solution to racial division. The children of Israel were under great stress and strain. Um, the nation was in trouble. And uh, the Bible says, then those who fear the Lord uh, spoke to one another and the Lord heard. And the goal today is to simple, simply buy, uh, follow biblical principles and talk to one another. No justice! No peace! With continued calls for criminal justice reform and courtroom cases charged with racial overtones, dialogue is ever more crucial in helping pastors and their congregations navigate a path toward healing, forgiveness, and reconciliation. Church is not supposed to be one people group, but we now have a responsibility and a mantle on us as leaders in God's church to show the world what heaven looks like. And if we can't do it in the church, how can we expect the world to do it the right way? These conversations will continue with monthly Zoom calls to help churches gain understanding and practical solutions. The goal is adding more voices while modeling the biblical principle of Christians, regardless of color or background, while living together in unity. Tara Mergener for C.